Hello, it's B Money here with day one of the 12 days of Sodom. Uh, today's day is Japan. And a lot of people are going with uh, Flower, Flesh, and Blood, the guinea pig movie. I probably would too if I had seen it. I know, shame on me, I haven't seen any of the guinea pig movies. So, uh, I'm going to go for something a little different. Uh, a little back for you. When you dip into Japanese horror cinema, you know, kind of get your fingers wet with Juwan, Ringu, Dark Water, stuff like that. You dig a little deeper, you get your Takashi Miike stuff, Audition, Visitor Q, Ichi the Killer. But to get to the Japanese STF stuff, you gotta dig even further. And that leads, in my opinion, to Red Room. Red Room is my pick. Sorry, my dog's going fucking nuts beside me. Dexter, chill the fuck out. Anyway. Red Room was made either in the 90s or the early 2000s, I don't recall exactly, but the basic plot is there's four people in a room playing a game for some large sum of money, I don't remember exactly how much. There's a married couple who I think are bankrupt or something, they need the money. There's one girl, and I don't really remember why she needed the money, and then there's a transvestite who wants a sex change. And there's... I forget exactly how the game's played. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I remember this one being pretty fucked up. And, uh, they play some game, and it involves them torturing one another, and you go until each member can't continue, and there's only one left. And there's just all different kinds of pretty brutal stuff. Uh, I think either the wife or one of the women gets beaten and raped. Uh, I think the guy gets burned with a hairdryer, which doesn't sound too brutal, but it is. You know, if you've ever had an ear infection in your kid and your mom holds a blow dryer to your ear to dry it up. I don't know if anyone shared that part of their childhood, but that was most of my childhood. Like, every month I would get an ear infection and it would suck. But, uh, another, uh, the husband, after his wife died, he, like, puts a light bulb up this chick's upper business, and it breaks, of course. And so it gets to be her turn, and she's like, alright. Now you gotta have sex with me. And she's like, fuck. That was a bad plan. That was not a smart move. But yeah, uh, Red Room. I watched it when I rented it from uh, my local video store back when I lived in Murphy's World Video Culture. I always praise them when I can. Uh, I don't know how easily you could find it at, say, a regular video store. I'm sure you could find it online pretty easily. Uh, pretty popular. But, uh, yeah, that's my pick for today, Red Room.